Hey, how's it going? Just wanted to come to you with a quick introduction on a new product that I just got in. Um, it is the Wolf PDB from Impulse RC. Uh, it is meant primarily, I, th I think, to go with uh, the KISS system of architecture and it is for the, uh, the Impulse RC Reverb. Um, currently what I have on this frame right now is I've got uh, DYS area, 32-bit, 35 amp ESCs. Um, I'm in the process of taking it apart. Uh, but I had on here the Helio Spring flight controller. Um, I've had several of these. This is a, a great flight controller. Um, but after flying it, and after flying uh, my KISS quad, uh, I want to get back to KISS. Um, I'm going to keep a Helio around. Um, I'm going to fly it. Uh, it's capable of doing success, and currently I've got it on my Atomic Fox, which is a fantastic quad. Um, low KV motors, uh, success, 1,000 milliamp hour packs. Um, but today, I want to talk a little bit about this. Um, so, the Reverb is an excellent frame. Uh, it, it's incredibly durable. Um, it gives good video footage. Uh, it handles really well in the air. Um, and it's just super easy to build. Uh, so um, what I'll do right now is I'm going to show you a clip uh, from just the other day of flying with the quad uh, as a Helio build, which will go right now. <laughs> that looked good put a comment down below in the description um, and then what I'm going to do at the end of this is I'm going to throw up a video of uh, the quad with the KISS hardware the new PDB on it um, and I'll let you see what that looks like for now though we're going to do a little bit of time lapse um, of the build process for this particular flight controller uh, PDB uh, the flight controller is KISS V2 uh, the ESCs are going to be KISS 32 amp um, so, now for the montage. Hope you enjoyed that. 
Uh, what I wanted to do now is talk a little bit about the uh, PDB OSD setup. Um, there's a couple things that I didn't film on this frame. Uh, I didn't film installing the VTX. I didn't film installing the flight controller or the camera. Um, but those are things that are pretty standard uh, in pretty much any build. Um, so I, I felt like it wasn't necessary for me to cover those. This is mostly about the PDB um, and also talking about KISS uh, and integration with the PDB. So regarding the PDB, one of the things if, if you're familiar with Minim OSD or familiar with the Steel PDB, you understand that in order to get the KISS OSD firmware onto the device you want, um, you have to flash the device with a certain set of firmware, you have to do a whole bunch of arranging, you have to save it, then you have to disconnect everything, you have to flash it again, and you have to check and make sure it's right, and if it's right, you're good, if it's not, you gotta make a change, and if you decide when you're flying, you don't like where this is positioned, or you need this icon, or this bit of information, you have to repeat that whole process again. The Wolf PDB OSD is nothing like that. I literally connected up to my quad, put my goggles on, was moving through every single menu, every single item, flight controller, OSD, VTX. It, it just worked. It was super, super simple. Um, I, I could move any icons, I could change my pilot name. You know, these are things that, that you're used to getting um, with things like a, a Betaflight OSD. But for the KISS OSD system, it hasn't really been available because it's relied on the Minim OSD technology. But with the advancements in the Wolf PDB, you're now able to do all of that real time. And in fact, I would say there are things you can do in the Wolf PDB and KISS OSD now that you cannot do in Beta Flight or Butterfly OSD, such as relocation of icons, um, changing uh, icons to, to where they go, cutting icons on and off with a rotary dial. Um, so you can set up a rotary dial and you can have just like, you know, your pilot handle, your milliamp hours, and your voltage. And with just the turn of the knob on the radio, you can get ESC telemetry and all this other stuff where you can turn it way down. Um, so there's a lot of really cool features. Um, in short, uh, I, I'm super happy with this. Um, in fact, if my chameleon frame decides to kick the bucket, uh, I will probably buy a reverb frame um, and put put that together for the express purpose of getting the Wolf PDB OSD. Now it is available um, as a universal board so the through holes in it are oversized so if you've got a 30.5 by 30.5 millimeter board um, or pattern on your frame the PDB should slide right over those bolts so that you know there's not any interference but it may not um, fit the frame exactly the way it does or is intended to on the reverb. Um, Oh, by the way, you noticed, different shirt, uh, it's a different day. I, I had full intentions of putting this together um, the same day that I started it, but life, man, what are you gonna do? Um, what I'm gonna do right now, though, is kind of show you um, how this quad performed on KISS. So this is the V2 flight controller and 32 amp ESCs, and I'm gonna roll that right now. <laughs> Kiss look like it flew better? Did you think that the Helio looked like it flew better? Leave a comment down below. I know for me, I'm gonna be sticking with Kiss. Um, there's just there, there's something that you cannot get from watching a video. On the sticks, it, it just feels different. And that's true of V1 or V2. And I've got a, a V1 and a V2 comparison video 
that I'm putting together, I'm working on, I'm trying to get it together um, to let you guys have a look at it and see what you think. Um, I've made my comments uh, about the Butterfly, uh, the Helio versus Kiss V1, and I'll put a card right here so you can take a look at that. Um, but for me, I, I'm, I'm sticking with Kiss. I, I will have one Helio build. I think it's a fantastic flight controller. Um, and with the ESC it's paired with, it's capable of doing 6S, and that's on my Atomic Fox. Um, so, like I said before, I'll say it again, I'm going to at least have one of those. But for the most part, my 3-inch, my 5-inch, my 6-inch, those are going to be KISS builds. Um, and if KISS comes out with a 4-in-1 ESC that is 6S capable, I'll switch the Fox over as well. Anyways, I'm Brandon. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this. If you're new to my channel, please like this video. Please subscribe. Um, if you've been here a while, consider sharing this with somebody who you think might enjoy watching this video. See you next time. Thank you.